What's up guys? Welcome back to Eel, Arkansas. Uh, so, apparently, YouTube's going to start um, taking down my videos. <laughs> and it's kind of weird, the one that they decided to start with was uh, a video I did two years ago on bullet casting back in 2020. Um, and basically, bullet casting is not even ma am ammunition manufacturing, which if you read uh, YouTube's guidelines uh, for regarding firearms, um, according to them, you're not supposed to detail anything about uh, how firearms are manufactured or ammunition is manufactured and that sort of thing. So... Uh, when it comes to ammunition manufacturing, you know, they're talking about obviously resizing brass and priming and powdering and bullet seeding and all of that, which I have dozens of videos detailing uh, the processes for that on my YouTube channel, but uh, as far as bullet casting goes, and even in this video, I didn't even detail the full process of really what goes into it. You know, I kind of left out uh, having to size the bullets after they've been cast, um, as well as specifics on how to blend your own alloys and stuff like that out of different types of, uh, out of, you know, whether you know, you're using certain amounts of antimony or lead or tin or, you know. Anyways, so in that video, the one they decided to remove because it violated, violated their terms, which it totally did not, um, it was just about bullet casting, just casting the projectiles for cartridges, not even actually making ammo just bullet casting and this is kind of it's kind of weird that they would skip over you know the dozens of other videos that I've done on actually manufacturing ammunition and just go to that one that's like a uh, you know a 300 or 300 plus year old uh, piece of history of how to cast a bullet you know it's just it's a little bit weird. Jesus Christ, I can't see you out of my windshield. Didn't notice it was that bad until the... Sorry about that. Didn't notice it was that bad until the damn headlights on that bus come after me. So, anyways, these guys decided decided to take down the video on bullet casting and uh, basically I just had my I was sitting out there uh, filming and I was just kind of talking about it as I was doing it with uh, uh, my smelting pot that I made out of two different size uh, brake rotors and then um, and then melting the lead in there using a you know I kind of modified a a uh, propane cooker for you know outside outdoor propane cooker and, and uh, added a couple brake rotors to it and this and that and, and uh, it worked really well for controlling temperature because there's so much mass in the steel that once you get it up to temp it basically would you know the, the fluctuations in temperature were very small um, it would hold a pretty steady consistent temperature for as long as you needed it to which it works out great it's fantastic um as of right now i need a new burner for that thing it's the one i was using was really old and and as of right now the last time i tried to turn it on i don't think any gas would even flow through it so it i need a new burner i left it outside un, unprotected in the elements for a little too long uh, last year i believe uh, it was about the last time i cast any bullets so I guess um, they're probably going to start pulling down other videos on my channel and um, basically they told me I got a warning this time on the next one they have to pull down I'll get a strike and I'll be banned from uh, 
temporarily banned from uploading anything to YouTube for a week. Uh, and then I think, yeah, and then it just goes from there. So, what do I do? Do I pull down the other videos? Uh, just go ahead and delete them in preparation for all their bullshit that they're working on? Or do I leave them up and then just wait for them to delete my channel because, you know, there's way too many violations on, you know, videos that would be considered violating their terms. Um, I don't know. You know, to me, it doesn't really make any sense to just go after bullet casting video because, I mean, that's history. It's art. It's history. It's science. And it's, it all of that I mean, it's over 300 years old, you know, that technology, the way of doing it, the way I was doing it, that, it's, you know, basically that skill or that art form is over 300 years old, um, since, you know, well before our country even started, um, you know, people were casting bullets out of, you know, different materials and stuff to, for their muskets and whatnot, um, and it's kind of funny they would go after the most primitive, uh, like one of the most primitive firearm uh, uh, components for, you know, making bullets, you know. Which I guess technically in that aspect, if we were talking about casting round balls for a mustic, musket, um, yeah, the casting that bullet would be you could argue that it is actually ammunition manufacturing uh, in the you know in the aspect of uh, going in a muzzle loader that the you, you pour the powder in and then shove the projectile down in there with the wadding and the patch and whatnot. But in the modern sense, I don't cast bullets for muzzle loaders. I just I don't even shoot muzzle loaders really. Uh, I'm thinking about getting into it uh, only because of. Um, you know, I've also got videos of manufacturing your own, uh, black powder, which, uh, they didn't take any of that down, so I'm like, well, maybe, uh, maybe I'll get into shooting muzzle loaders and making my own black powder and making my own bullets, round balls for muzzle loaders and shooting them. That, that'd be pretty fun. I always wanted, like, a, a flintlock pistol, like a big, you know, one of those big navy pistols, like a 69 caliber uh, naval handgun. Um, just because, I don't know, I think it'd be cool to be able to just shove pea gravel down the barrel of something and fire it if I had to. I mean, it'd be the uh, ultimate apocalypse gun. You just, anything that'll fit in the barrel will come out. It would be awesome. But, so I'm just wondering what their motivation is why they would take down a video on bullet casting. I just, I can't, uh, you know, the, the reason they would do that just kind of eludes me. I, it doesn't make any sense in the, you know, in the sense that the other videos that I have detailing, like, how to resize and prime and deprime and then remove crimped, uh, you know, the crimp from the primers of military brass and reuse it and and then uh, bullet seating and then crimping if you're going to be using it in semi-automatic fashion or whatever and then like loading handgun ammunition and all that stuff you know I've got videos detailing the full processes on that and going from uh, components to functional ammunition uh, at pretty much every step so I don't understand why they would just attack the uh, bullet casting video. It just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And I don't know. But it seems that it, it if, you know, if that's the what they're going to go after, it seems that they're more or less wanting to uh, destroy history and art than they're wanting to uh, destroy videos that violate their terms and conditions. <laughs> Because uh, bullet casting is not ammunition manufacturing at all. So I don't understand why they decided that that violated their terms and conditions.
conditions, you know, like it's, that's just, uh, it, it doesn't make any sense, but, you know, so what do you guys think? Do I need to go ahead and start removing other videos that are way more detailed as far as ammunition manufacturing goes that I know violate their terms and conditions? Um, or just leave them up and go to a different platform while they delete my channel permanently. The only problem with going to a different platform and other gun tubers, much bigger gun tubers than me, like Demo Ranch and uh, you know Brandon Herrera and all those guys. The uh, the only problem with going to a different platform is just there's just not enough volume or not enough traffic on other platforms generally, um, and it would take years to get the same views on a different platform as it does in, in a matter of days on YouTube. So, as far as it being a business or making money goes, uh, YouTube is still, I guess, the better one to do. Now, I think really the days of really making money on YouTube and, and creating content for YouTube, those days are pretty much over unless you're getting, you know, like sponsorship outside of YouTube is really the only way to go. Of course, I've never received any of that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. What I should do, really. Because I really don't want to lose my YouTube platform. But if I did, it wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't be the end of the day. You know, it wouldn't just totally kill me as far as doing what I like to do with firearms and sharing information about them, I would just go somewhere else and, you know, because there's always going to be somebody out there that will appreciate it, the effort and the time that goes into explaining everything and, you know, how long it took me to learn the things that I know, you know, so, and, you know, as far as, you know, as that goes, is I like to think that I'm helping educate a community a growing community because there's a lot of people getting into reloading and firearms that have never wanted to or had any interest in until recently and uh, most of the people that are getting into it right now uh, are getting into it with one thing in mind and that is uh, well they're scared they're worried about the future of their freedoms and this and that in this country and it, it's a very real fear to have right now I want to keep everybody getting into it as safe as possible and I'd like to share, be able to share my experience and share my knowledge so that uh, people getting into it don't hurt themselves. So as far as my channel goes on YouTube, I don't know why they would take down videos like this that are educational in the sense that they're trying to keep people safe or at least doing, you know, doing everything a safe way um, because you know if this information isn't out there if it's all just removed and deleted and you get people still getting into this deal and they don't know what they're doing that can be a dangerous scenario you know that you, it takes very very little uh, mistakes with manufacturing ammunition to cause catastrophic failures with firearms that can most of the time they really don't result in injury uh, but sometimes they can result in injury and, and in very very rare occasions they can result in death and we want to avoid that because nobody wants to take a brand new thousand dollar firearm two thousand three thousand dollar firearm and then blow it up because they don't know what they're doing and just and then now like oh well yeah that's outside of the manufacturer warranty because you're using hand loads of it. you should be you should know what you're doing if you're going to do that um, or, you know, somebody gets hurt uh, and injured, and then they just blame the firearms community, firearms manufacturing, uh, when it was really a mistake on their part. Uh, because they operated the firearm incorrectly or uh, loaded the
loaded their ammunition a little too hot or not hot enough and you know there's there's all kinds of problems uh, and there's a fine line of getting everything you know there's a small window of getting everything just right and you got to do it the same way every time uh, to keep it from becoming a dangerous thing so anyways I've been kind of rambling on there for about 15 minutes or so um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below uh, please like share subscribe this video um, I know that 99.99% of y'all are just gonna watch about two minutes into it and skip over it and not even like or share subscribe or nothing and that kind of doesn't help uh, any gun tubers out at all um, so don't just do it for me do it for the other guys too because i know some of you guys like obviously i don't put a crap ton of money into my channel because i don't have a crap ton of money that's why i'm on my way to work right now to go make a couple dollars so that i might could do something new for you guys next week maybe we'll see if my channel's still alive next week like I said, if you've made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you for staying and watching. Uh, please give me your thoughts. Um, and, you know, try to go like, share, subscribe, you know, all that to every gun tube video that you come across. Just, it doesn't hurt anything to subscribe to the channel. You're going to get a notification. You can turn the notifications off, but the notification bell may be something you want to click on so that you can get more updates you know that's just uh that's you know based on your preference but you know it helps us out as a community of gun people if you uh show youtube that you're supporting us and liking and sharing the videos and subscribing to our channels um, is the way to do that so Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on 